In today's session, we're going to be talking about the Salesforce Bulk API steps, importing data at the loading dock. There are situations where you have an external set of data and you want to load it into Salesforce. Typically, you use the REST API, which gives you immediate synchronous feedback on your record inserts, updates, or other such DML. However, if you have a large set of data, such as a million records, and you want to bring it into Salesforce, let's call it a million inserts, then you are limited to 200 records per call. So that would end up being 5,000 separate API calls. My analogy is you go into the bank and you want to do a set of deposits and you walk in and the bank teller limits you to 200 deposits. And then after you finish that, you have to get back in line and do a second set of deposits. And, and, and again, and again, and again. And if you had a million records to insert, that would be 5,000 API calls that you'd have to make. So you're sitting there going back and forth, back and forth in line, consuming API calls, and then you notice somebody pulling up to the side of the bank in a truck, and they've got a massive amount of deposits, and 10, 20, 30 minutes later, they drive away and they're done, while you're still going back and forth with your individual API calls. So we're gonna be talking about how the bulk API can allow you to insert or update large volumes of data without having to do it in a, a large number of individual calls. So you pull up to the side of the bank with your truck and you're given the following instructions. They inform you that it's a five-step process. Step one, you hit a red buzzer, which, and they give you a ticket. This opens the job and gives you a job ID. Okay. Then the next thing is a loading dock opens up and you can start loading your files in CSVs. Each CSV can be up to 10,000 records and there are size limitations, but you use your ticket, your job ID, to insert and uplo to upload your files. And then when you're done, now you could upload one file, you could upload 100 files. This is step two, the upload. Salesforce doesn't know when you're done until you hit step three, a big blue button on the wall that you press that tells Salesforce to start processing. Step three, the doors close and Salesforce start processing. Now you're sitting there wondering what's happening and not sure when it's going to complete. And so, kind of like my kids in the back seat when I'm trying to go somewhere, they ask, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Step four is where you ask Salesforce, passing in your job ID, what's the status of the job? Is it done? What's the status of the job? Is it done? When step four tells you that the job is complete, then you can either A, use step 5A to download the successful records, which will give you the Salesforce IDs, for the newly inserted or updated records, or B, you could ask for download failures. This would give you the failure file. So these five steps allow you to insert, update, even delete millions of records. And again, upload, open the job, step one, upload the files, step two, start the processing, step three, check the status, step four, and then download either success or for failures is step five. I'm gonna use Postman into a sandbox and I'm gonna demonstrate these five steps. First, I'm gonna have an authentication. So I have come in and I have authenticated and I'm gonna grab my access token. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna create a new job. So right here, I am hitting this fresh, create a job, and this now gives me a new job ID. So I'm gonna take this job ID, which was to insert an account. Now in the body of my insert, I said insert, I account, and CSV. Once it's complete, this is step one. I carry my job ID to step two. Now what I'm gonna do is I place the job ID in the URL, which has my, my domain, URL, jobs, and jest, and then the job ID in batches. This is, and the body of this, I've just put, we're gonna put, um, uh, let's put BART buildings. So this is gonna create a new account called BART, BART buildings. And what we're gonna do is we're authenticated. 
with a, I've carried the job ID and I have a 201 created. So that's it. It hasn't started processing because it does not know if I'm sending in additional files. Now what I do is again, I created the job. I have the job ID. I'm gonna tell Salesforce to start processing. So I'm gonna paste this into my URL and hits, and then I'm gonna have a body which is gonna say upload complete. And then I hit send. And now I have upload is complete, but it hasn't started. Pro so I, do, I need to check its status. So in step four, I'm gonna paste in the new job ID and do a check status. Now it's saying job is complete. So because it was a single record, it completed nearly very quickly. So now I have job complete. And what I can do is go to my success records, paste this in here, which is the job ID download the successful records. And there is my Salesforce ID for BART buildings. So I'm gonna come into my Salesforce org. I'm gonna switch this to all accounts. And then I can see the BART buildings account. And this, since I'm only sending in the name, this is coming in and you'll see that it's the Postman user created by BART Buildings. So these five steps, open the job, is only consumes a single API call, goes very quickly. You then upload your files, whether it's one file with one record or 100 files with 10,000 um, records each. You trigger the start processing in step three. Um, you, and then you check your status with step four, very quick calls. Now, each of these do consume an API call, but to load in a million records only can consume a handful of calls. And then you download either your, your success records, as I showed you with the Salesforce IDs, or any failures with the errors. It's a very straightforward process. So this, thank you very much for diving into the Salesforce C. There's some great things you can do and tune in for more adventures. Thank you very much.